I'm Dr. Asai here with a new sonography discussion on three major fetal brain anomalies. Don't forget to subscribe for every Monday new sonography discussion. In this video, we want to review three major fetal brain anomaly and how to diagnose them in sonography. They are anencephaly, exencephaly, and encephalocell. In anencephaly, we do not see cortical tissue of the brain, and the calvarium is also not seen, making an appearance of frog eye or Mickey Mouse. In this picture of a 33 weeks fetus, we can see the face of the fetus and outline its borders. We can also see the eyes. One eye is here and the other eye is here with appearance of frog eye. Nose and lips of the fetus are also could be outlined. But in this fetus, no brain tissue or calvarium is seen above the eyes. In real-time review of the same fetus, we can see both eyes, nose and lips, the face of the fetus, but no brain tissue or calvarium above the eyes. So it's obvious seen that above the eyes there is no brain tissue or calvarium. We can see lips, the face and the heartbeat is detected as well which shows the fetus is alive. Another brain anomaly is exencephaly, which means that the brain tissue has no calvarium and it's floating in amniotic fluid. In this picture, we can see the face of the fetus clearly. Eyes are here and here. We can also see the nose and other parts of the face. In exencephaly, we can see the brain tissue above the eyes, which is its difference to anencephaly, but it has no calvarium. The fetus here is 18 weeks of gestational age. We can see the eye, both hands. And above the eye, we can see brain tissue with no protecting calvarium. We can see obviously the brain is floating in amniotic fluid. Both hands, eyes, nose are seen in this fetus. Here we can see complete brain tissue with no calvarium. Again, we can see the floating brain in amniotic fluid, which is even more anterior than the face. The third entity we want to review is encephalocell, which is a defect in calvarium through which brain tissue or a cystic structure herniates. In this picture, we can see the calvarium, which has a defect in posterior part. Here we can see the defect through which a cystic structure herniates containing brain tissue. This herniation sometimes results in microcephaly. 
We review two cases here. This vetus is 18 weeks. We can see both eyes, the calvarium, and brain tissue, but in posterior part of the calvarium, there is a defect through which brain tissue herniates. We can see the defect here. The brain herniates posteriorly. The eyes, lips, both hands are also seen. Here is another interesting case, a twin pregnancy, one fetus, the other fetus here. In the first fetus, we can see microcephaly with brain tissue herniated posteriorly. We can see a big defect in posterior part of calvarium. This fetus has also a short spinal column. In reviewing the other fetus, we can see unfortunately the same defect in posterior part of calvarium with herniating a cystic structure containing brain tissue. So the second fetus has also encephalocell. If the video was helpful, please like it. And if you have any question, be free to ask it in comments.